It's the brain fry. Let me try. Yeah. Oh yeah. The surface is quite smooth. Yeah, the finish is, is pretty good. Hello, Snapmic and friends. I'm Jade. I see there are many discussions regarding the launch of Snapmic Artisan, so I think it's a great opportunity to make a video with Leo. Yeah. Hi, Leo. Hi, Jade. Hi, guys. This is Yu Li, and this is the first time that we are in front of a camera, and hope we can make it. Yeah, no worry. Let's start now. Why does Snapmaker make 3-in-1 3D printers? I start with this question because I think there might be many users have thought about whether they should get a 3-in-1 machine or 3 dedicated machines. Yeah. yeah, and I also want to share a typical voice from the Snapmaker users. Mm -hmm. um, I see this in a buying suggestion post. Tim Marlow said, if you will use all three functions, this is a good choice for learning and hobby. If you need mass production, top speed or single function, there are dedicated single function machines better suited. Finally, this is not an inkjet printer, it's not auto magic. The Snapmaker is a whole shed full of tools and you need to figure out each tool and how to apply it to each project. A pretty good support from the company and a very engaged and helpful community. His answer has received the most likes. Uh, we do believe, first of all, we do believe that there is a, a personal fabrication movement going on right now and we want to contribute to it. Mm -hmm. And we all know that the traditional rapid prototyping machines are expensive, uh, they are large, space consuming, mm -hmm. and they are very hard to buy mm -hmm. and hard to get, hard to learn, and they are also very noisy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's where our idea come come from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we uh, we want to turn your desktop into a personal fabrication workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, at the meantime, they are well performed, affordable, and multifunction and easy to use. Oh yeah. yeah. That's probably the main reason that we uh, we make three in one machines. Mm -hmm. And we have been doing this for over six years. Yes. And we are very happy and it's been an honor for us to see that our users are using our machines and making something wonderful wonderful. Mm -hmm. What's the main reason to make artisan? Well to better answer that question uh, I would like to take a brief review on the three generation we have launched. Mm -hmm. We first tested our three-in-one function idea on Semicro Original, mm -hmm. and it gets uh, positive feedback from the market. But we, as designers and developers, we are not very satisfied with its working ar working area. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. uh, it's too small, small and almost impossible for us to uh, make life scale mode models. Mm -hmm. So then we developed our second generation machine. Yeah, Snapmaker. Yeah. Snapmaker 2.0 mm -hmm. and it did work out. And we heard a lot of voice of our customers, they all very uh fond of our Snapmaker 2.0. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see this creation is made by one of our users. It's really cool. Yes then why make artisan? <laughs> uh, yes, because uh, we also hear another voice of our users uh, called that our machine is uh, jack, jack of all trees, mm -hmm. master of none. Mm -hmm. And we did take it very seriously mm -hmm. and take a series of action uh, to uh, try to improve this situation. Mm -hmm. And that's where uh, the new Samico artisan came out. Mm -hmm. Leo, could you tell us more details what's new in artisan? Well, we are trying to make a better tool rather than a cooler, cooler toy. It is 50 mm wider, mm -hmm. larger than uh, Samico 2.0 in all three dimensions, uh, which allow our users to make a real life scale models uh, which may have uh, real practical functions and make an uh, impact on their daily life. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Yeah. Second, uh, it is uh, a still a three in one machine, mm -hmm. and our new quick swap design, mm -hmm. quick swap design um, will allow our users to switch from one function to another within 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. Whereas in contrast, uh, in our SunMaker 2.0, it's a 10 minute work. That is a huge progress. Yeah. And we are also considering uh, apply this new feature, this new design into our Assemblyer 2.0 also. Yeah, it's really a good news for the existing users. Yeah, and also in our uh, standard configuration, uh, we have a uh, dual extrusion 3D printing module mm -hmm. tool head embedded with a uh, plant re reducer in it and a uh, dual geared dual geared extrusion system yeah for better grip yes yes for sure and also i can see is the can i take it out yeah oh yeah it's easy the quick swap hot ends yeah so that users can change the various hot ends to for different Nicks. That's very good. Yes, and the diameter of the nozzle is uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, and 0 0.6, and also 0 0.8. Yeah. And people can buy it optional. Yes. Okay. And we also have a uh, 10 watt laser module, mm -hmm. uh, which is capable of cutting a 8 millimeter plywood board mm -hmm. at one time. And also we have a uh, 200 volt CNC module. Yeah. The top of the new one is uh, eight newton centi centimeter. Yeah. Uh, this all, uh, this all, the new, new three modules mm -hmm. are all providing our user a better opportunity and better chance to mm -hmm. make a more sophisticated work mm -hmm. uh, easier and faster. And that's our main goal. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I can see that the Artisan is the strongest 3-in-1 machine now. Um, however, it also brings me and existing users a concern. However, I would like to remind you of your promise to continue developing the A-series. Really hope that at least the new models will fit the Snapmaker 2.0. Oh, well, that's a really tough decision to make that our next generation linear module is now compatible with Snapmaker 2.0 for the main reason that a uh, faster printing speed and a stronger CNC machining uh, requires a more rigidized and more stronger motion system. And in Snapmaker 2.0, plane shaft was applied. When we test it to print at 200 millimeter per second and cut harder materials, it did not perform very well and failed to reach our product quality standard. To solve that problem and to achieve higher speed printing and higher power CNC milling, we upgraded the plane shaft with steel guide rail. And to reduce the overall weight, we make the guide rail embedded in our aluminum base. We did try our best to make our uh, dual or 3D printing module uh, 10 volt laser module and the quick swap design mm -hmm. compatible with the uh, Sandmaker 2.0 system mm -hmm. and also the previously launched uh, module like uh, rotary module and air oh, purifier okay. I see that the yeah, rotary module uh, they are also compatible with the new system they are also compatible with the uh, Sandmaker artist art, artisan yeah I can see it, it makes sense. So the Snapmaker 3.0 users could still use their rotary module on yes. Artisan. Yeah. Yeah. And also for the 3.0 users, they will get their own dual extruder modules. They can upgrade to that feature without the need to buy the whole machine. Yeah, that's the whole point of the uh, module design. Okay, now let's come to the last question. What do you think of the print quality of Artisan? The print quality? Mm. Uh, I mean, 
the print quality, yeah. printing speed, and printing scale are mm. three strongly related concepts. Mm. But we cannot discuss each of them separately. Mm. And our ceramical artisan is not designed to break the top speed of 3D printing record. Mm. And it is not designed to cut the hardest metal. Mm -hmm. But it is designed to offer a max optimal solution within the totally, I mean not totally, within three different limitations of needs. Mm. So that's my answer. And because Snapmaker Artisan provide a dual extrusion, mm. that means our user can print support materials like PLA breakaway or PVA fil fil filament. Yeah, oh, I want to see this. Yeah, the PLA filament can be peeled off quite easily. Mm. It's the breakaway. Let me try. Yeah. Oh yeah, the surface is quite smooth. Yeah, the finish is, is pretty good. Yeah, so the support removal can be easier. Okay. Yes, and another concept, as I mentioned before, is uh, we want our users have the uh, ability to make real life, life, yeah. life, life scale models. I also like the idea to make lifestyle Life scale. Life scale models. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which have uh, real practical functions mm -hmm. and will do some great impact mm -hmm. on their daily life. Oh, this yeah. wooden chair is actually made by our new product. Oh wow. Yeah. It's a real chair. Yeah, it's a real it's a real chair and that's what I'm talking about. Um, we wanna uh. we, we want the artisan a uh, better tool rather than mm -hmm. Uh, just a technology toy mm. so it allows our users to have the ability to make a real life scale models which will have a, a great impact on their daily life yeah yeah can i sit on yeah, it yeah sure sure it's please please go ahead it's pretty pretty strong oh it's a nice chair um yeah the sitting is good feels very good and yeah thank you thank you leo my five questions ends and thank you very much for taking this video with me thank you Jane. yeah and also thank you snapmaker friends for watching this video we hope you can find something interesting and useful in this chat and we will continue to hear the user voice in the sure. community right mm -hmm. and see you next time bye 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 guys see you next time bye